we just discussed crop production too that is planting and now our next topic is crop production three nursery practices this is our topic of discussion today so uh, under this topic we should be able to describe the nursery, a nursery bed and maybe we can describe that at the moment so um, we a little background on a nursery bed is planting materials are either planted directly in a seed bed or directly through a nursery bed so a seed bed is a piece of land which could be small or large and prepared to receive planting materials while a nursery bed on the other hand is a small plot of land specially prepared for raising seedlings or planting planting materials before transplanting so it's usually one meter wide in any convenient length depending on the quantity of seedlings to be raised so a seedling bed is a special type of nursery bed used for raising seedlings pricked out from the nursery bed due to overcrowding before they are ready for transplanting so having had some background on a nursery bed then we should be able uh, we've actually distinguished between a nursery bed, uh, a seedling bed, and a seed bed. And then we're going to, you should, you're expected to state the importance of a nursery bed. Prepare a nursery bed for, and manage. Transplant crops from a nursery bed. Bud a seedling. Graft a seedling. Explain the importance of budding, grafting, layering, and tissue culture. And finally, describe damage caused by animals on tree seedlings and how to prevent it. So that way we'll have covered this topic, crop production three, nursery practices. See you in our next class.